My name is Andrew Brown, I'm the director of the Fall River Conservancy, and this is Carson Jeffries from the UC Davis Center for Watershed Sciences. Today we're at uh, Ajumawi Lava Springs, and we're about to launch the Fall River's first wild trout monitoring program. Sam, and so what we're doing today is we're putting pit tags, passive integrated transceivers, into 500 trout to see how they move up and down the Fall River, when they move up and down, and what areas they're using for spawning habitat. So the Fall River is spring fed, and which means it has a constant flow and temperature most of the year. And the fish in the Fall River have evolved to utilize that constant flow and temperature by spawning over a nine month period, which is different than most snowmelt systems that spawn just at the end of the snowmelt. And so we're interested in looking at how different populations within the Fall River use different habitats and spawn at different times of year to see whether they're one big population or actually there are several small populations in the river. And having a better understanding of how these fish spawn in the different populations, that'll help us manage this population into the future. Hi there, my name is Ryan Peek. I work at the Center for Watershed Sciences at UC Davis. And today we're going to be pit tagging um, fish. And these are each one of these little blue tags is a, is a little pit tag about the size of a grain of rice. And essentially we insert it into the fish. And then um, similar to a fast track with a car, uh, when it swims through a certain antenna, um, we get a signal back telling us where that fish um, was tagged and when. And it's a great way for us to sort of track fish location over time. And it's really important for us to, to use this data to, to get at uh, spawning. So we'll know where the fish are moving and when. My name is uh, Michael Dagey. I work with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. And um, we're out here boat shocking the Fall River um, to grab some samples to tag them and mark their movements over time. It's a great opportunity to get along and, and work with other um, organizations, uh, nonprofits like Cal Trout um, and the university um, with these resources to help us to get out to uh, cover some of the stuff. Right now, you know, we're under, uh, usually under budget cuts with the state, but working together we're able to accomplish uh, stuff like this, Fall River Tagging. Uh, we, we wanted to do something like this, but uh, we wrote it off. But once uh, Cal Trout came in and UC Davis, uh, we got this kickstarted and we will get it done this year. Collecting this type of data, especially for the Fall River, which we, we don't have much on, especially for fish movement, uh, but used in management purposes. Therefore, uh, once we can track some of the movements or know when some of these fish move maybe into their spawning grounds, that uh, might help us with uh, some activities we might be doing through project operations, um, permitting, at least for our department. So in addition with this, uh, the tagging operation we're doing today with Cal Trout and UC Davis, um, part of the department's uh, focus here is our, it's a, it's a heritage of wild trout water, um, the Upper Fall River. So this data also will uh, help us just with the management of, of that water and, and keep it at its status of a high quality uh, fishery for the department. Hi, I'm Val Atkinson and I've been fishing on Fall River since about 1975 and I love the place. It's one of the largest spring systems in the whole United States. We got a great rainbow trout fishery here. It's wonderful that we have cow trout and the Fall River Conservancy helping with the projects up here and they're doing some fantastic work on the river and it's also nice to have Orvis sponsoring the uh, fish tagging program which we have ongoing right today over my shoulder. My name is Curtis Knight, I'm the Conservation Director for California Trout here in the Fall River Valley and we're involved with a, with a pretty cool project working with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, with the Fall River Conservancy, Cal Trout, and UC Davis. And it's, uh, it's a project that is science-based, it's a research project, and it's a good example of the type of projects that Cal Trout uh, gets involved with throughout the state where we want that firm foundation in science to base our advocacy work off of. The other important part of projects like this is you need uh, funders who are willing to invest in that type of model. And um, Orvis has been uh, a funder of Caltrouts over the years on, on, on unique and, and uh, important projects like this, whether they're research driven or restoration driven. The Fall River is uh, California's largest spring-fed cold water system and it's got a, a really unique, robust wild trout population. And we care about these fish because they're great indicators of the, the overall ecological health of, of, of cold water in Northern California.
So this project is made possible by grant funding from Orvis. That's a collaborative effort from the Fall River Conservancy, California Trout, the UC Davis Center for Watershed Sciences, PG&E, and the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Mm-hmm. <laughs>